Hallo Leute und willkommen zurück zu Air, Air Production. Hier ist Robi und wir spielen weiter mit Genshin Impact. Das ist Part 23 und wir hauen direkt Leave weiter. It All of it. Whatever it is. Ja, Lied. What exactly is it? Das ist eine gute Frage. Schauen wir alles mal, was wir so haben. Erstmal Ankündigungen, die wir wegmachen können, die ihr eh nicht lesen könnt. Aktuelles Inhalte. Ein paar neue Sachen. Oh. Shogun Raiden wird nächstens abkommen. Und Yomiya. Nice. Aber das dauert noch ein bisschen. Oh, stimmt, neue Schatz. Ja, stimmt, Rest haben wir alles. Nummer 3 auf irgendeinem schönen Berg, wie es aussieht. Schauen wir mal, was wir so finden. Ich schätze mal hier. Verfolgen. Finden wir gleich raus. Alles ignorieren, einfach rein da. Noel, du bist Maschine. Ich mal Stiche um alle. Du musst doch nicht spalten, du musst ziemlich in der Nähe hier sein. Finden wir ihn? Ein Wunderschön. Wow, so wenig. Ich bin so ein Finver. Gierig. Da ist eine Mission. Welche Herausforderungen haben wir bekommen? Fontaine, gleich zwei. Sehr schön. Nehmen wir doch alles, gell? Hm. Das sieht alles nicht so aus wie die Steine bei mir. Ist irgendwas hier? Was Neues? Oder die Seite? Nee. Das Rote geht hier entlang. Da muss ich da hin, oder? Hm. Ist das hier? Nee, oder? Nee, ist wirklich hier, glaube ich, wahrscheinlich. Neues Gebiet. Auf dem war ich noch gar nicht. Wow, this Auch in der anderen awesome. Ding nicht. Oh, hier ist auch kleiner. Dann gehen wir uns ja Stein. Dann haben wir schon mal das wenigstens abgeschlossen. 
Du hast mich schon nicht Riesenhutqualle, eine extrem elastische und mysteriöse Kreatur aus Fontaine, die Figuren einsaugen und in die Luft schleudern kann. Man sagt, dass sie die letzte Evolutionsform der Hutqualle ist, die Energie, die <lacht> des xenochromatischen poing poing Octopus kann manchmal genutzt werden, um sie an andere Orte zu bringen. <lacht> Die Wut hut qualle Komm. Öffne das Land für mich. Dass ich besser sehe. Nee. Sieht auch nicht so aus, ne? Nicht alles andere aus, was ich finden muss. Hä? Ich denke, alles andere ignorieren. Wer nicht denn? Someone needs assistance. Come here, do exit. Die Steine sind auch wichtig. Ja. Teleport. Also da kann man runter wahrscheinlich. Das wird ein Weg. Jetzt muss ich wegen ein paar Kistchen hier ganz von Tee erkunden oder was? Die ganzen Event-Quests hier machen mich fertig. Er schweichen fort. Hier ist es Mary Potter, wie das heißt. Obwohl das viel zu früh war. Da muss auch irgendwo ein Aqua Coculus sein, <lacht> wie die heißt. Minoculus. Ich hoffe, du bist nicht irgendwo oben, Alter. Wo ich nicht hinkomme. Wo ist der rote Strahl? Ich hoffe nicht auf so einen blauen Würfel oder so, oder? Oh, da unten. Oh, ich dachte schon. Macht mir da Angst. Ein paar Gegner. Eine Kiste. Nehmen wir doch mit. Ah! <laughs> 
Ein guter Kochtopf. Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Ich nehme doch gerne alles an. Ich sehe da oben. Das sieht doch gut aus. Dieser Ort hier. Wie komme ich da am besten hin? Ich springe da rein ins Wasser. Fahr bis zu dem. Und dann bis zu dem. Das hält sich doch gut an. Gehen. Mach hier mal den hier. Ich sag doch ganz Fontaine für ein paar lausige Kröten. I won't let you down. I won't let you down. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Ah, da kommen wir angeln, oder? Sieht aus wie ein Angelplatz auf jeden Fall. Oh, das ist auch so ein hoher Platz, du. Muss ich nur hoch, hoch, hoch. Da ist er. Holen wir uns kurz den Newton Teleporter. Hey. Jetzt. Jetzt gehen wir zum nächsten. Der sieht gut aus. Blasenmandarine. Verleiht die Blasen auf den Blasen. Ich bin jetzt drin, wie es aussieht. nach oben. Das sieht doch gut aus. 
Someone needs assistance. Genau wie eine Quest. Okay, mein vermissten Schätzchen. Vielleicht zum nächsten. Fester Energiespeicher, mobiler Energiespeicher. Da. Wo ist der letzte? Da irgendwo. Ist nicht der oben, oder? Natürlich muss ich da graben, wo ich auch kämpfen muss. Wäre sonst langweilig. Oh, die ist verschwunden. Okay. Ja. Ich dachte, die muss ich alle zusammen schlagen. So. Da. Der nächste. Wunderschön. Direkt mit einem Tempel, ne? Beautiful, beautiful. Und wo muss ich graben? Da. Ich gehe ja schon, ich gehe ja schon. Und dos. Tres. Quatro. Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Easy. Das ist doch eine Herausforderung. Jetzt kommen wir die Herausforderung. <lacht> zack, zack. Wunderschön. So. So, so, so. Wo ist unser Kumpel? Da. Die guten alten Spoilers hier über, ne? Wobei, keine Geschichte, nix. Wir sehen halt nur ein paar Sachen. Aber storymäßig kein... War eigentlich das Event, der ganze Spoiler. Ich soll mich nur ruhig umschauen, mach ich doch. Das ist nicht so wichtig. Die da. Die da. Ah, ich hab keine mehr. Die zwei noch, wenn gut. Das wäre mir jetzt egal, dann würde ich lieber so ein Seli bekommen, wenn es geht. Kurkuma. Sieht cool aus. Prachtvoller Glanz nehme ich aber. Ja, ich nehme den prachtvollen Glanz mit Wasser. Sieht cool aus. Nur einen Miniseel. Traurig. So.
da haben wir das jetzt alles. Warten wir mal von unten. Das sind keine mit Zeit. Nee, 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 nee. Sieht nicht so aus. Nee. Dann können wir Wang Sheng machen. Eigentlich Story weitermachen, ne? Dann machen wir einen schönen Story-Auftrag weiter. Aber was wollen die jetzt mit dem Daily Quest hier hin? Wanlin Bookhouse. Guess this is where we go to buy books in Liyue. Should we ask here if they have a copy of the Liyue volume of the Tibet Travel Guide? It's super duper interesting. So, are you buying or not? Hundert Prozent ist es. Eine Zeitquest. Someone needs assistance. Nächstes Mal. Ich muss ja in die Bank rein. Oh, guten Abend, das ist die Bank des Nordens. Woran denkst du? Ich bin in Gedanken gerade durchgegangen, was ich in diesem Brief schreiben sollte. Normalerweise schreibe ich zu Hause an meine Familie, aber vor kurzem habe ich einen Brieffreund gefunden. Erzähl mir von deinem Brieffreund. Er ist auch eine Wache hier in der, an der Bank des Nordens, aber ist tagsüber im Dienst, während ich nachts im Dienst bin. Um dir die Wahrheit zu sagen, kenne ich nicht mal seinen Namen. Einmal habe ich den Brief, den ich meinem Bruder geschrieben habe, versehentlich auf unserem po äh, Posten liegen lassen. Dann hat ihn die andere Wache vielleicht fälschlicherweise für einen Brief gehalten, den ich für sie hinterlassen habe. Er schrieb mir sogar zurück. Ich konnte zwischen den Zeilen lesen und erkennen, dass er wahrscheinlich sehr einsam war. Deshalb habe ich mir gedacht, es wäre gut, so weiterzumachen, um ihm auf diese Weise zu helfen. Aber schließlich wurden die Briefe an ihn auch ein Teil meines Lebens. Ich habe sogar begonnen, mich auf seine Briefe zu freuen. Das war jetzt einfach nur ein Gespräch, halt. Katastrophe. Gibt's hier irgendwas? Da geht Treppen hoch. Uh. Hier ist eine Bank. Nur Geld. Kein Urgestein. Ist eine Bank. Könnte ich mir vorstellen, aber trotzdem. Tut irgendwie weh. So eine schöne Kiste ohne Urgestein zu sehen. Welcome, friend of child, and congratulations on the first day of your illustrious career with the Fatui. Ich bin kein Freund der, des Grafen. Ich habe nicht vor, den Fatui beizutreten. Ich bin kein Freund des Grafen. You sound remarkably sure of yourself. Remember, we are mere mortals. Our ideas are fluid like water. Only the Tsaritsa truly has a will as solid as the permafrost. But back to the matter at hand. Child tells me that he has upheld his end of your agreement. Ich mein guter Schluck. Auf den Grafen. Oder Child, wie ihn hier nimmt. What agreement? Oh, the thing about him helping us find a guy? Correct. Child promised he would find someone to break the stalemate. And the Harbingers do not break their promises lightly. Mm-hmm. Ah, where is that guy anyway? Child is currently at Leoli Pavilion. In Leoli Pavilion? Oh, oh Paimon knows this one! Weil es da Essen gibt. Ahem. There are two styles of cooking in Leoli. Known as Lee style and Yue style. They have been competing for centuries, but neither has emerged as the clear winner. The flagship restaurant of the Lee style is the Liu Li Pavilion. The owner especially chose to open the restaurant at Feiyuan Slope so they could compete face to face with the Xinyue Kiosk, which is the flagship restaurant of the Yue style. Sobald es ums Essen geht, legst du Don't los. Talk to Paimon like that. Anyway, Paimon's hungry. Let's get moving. <lacht> Kapitel 1, der zweite Akt. 
der Abschiedsbesuch. Graffelein. Ich bin gespannt. Ah, da unten bist du ja schon. Aha, you made it. As promised, I have found someone who can help you. Someone who can solve the mystery of why the Liyue Chising would hide the Jiu Archon's vessel. So, where is he? In Liyue Pavilion? He certainly is. Come, I'll introduce you. I took the liberty of setting up a business dinner, as per the Liyue custom. Welcome back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you Zhongli? My buddy. I want him ever, Alter. I want him so much as a character. His meteor attack is so cool. Hi. Allow me to introduce Mr. Zhong Li, consultant to an organization known as Wang Sheng, and a trusted associate of the Fatui. Mit den Fatui? Indeed. Wang Sheng's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed. And we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business with friends who walk in the shadows. <laughs> walk in the shadows? <laughs> It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. Discretion? Shadows? Ah, is Wangshan some kind of business involving dealing with people? <laughs> Indeed. It is as you have guessed. Hmm. <laughs> the Wangshan Funeral Parlor organizes burials. We ensure that those who pass on do so in peace. Huh? <laughs> Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor does not dabble in such business. Well, ostensibly. <laughs> Nicht in dieser Hinsicht. Well, they are still. Ah, I shouldn't say too much. In any case, I brought you to meet Mr. Zhang Li because... Because I can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. What? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been squirreled away by order of the Tian Chuan Ning Guang. But first, let's hear what Mr. Zhang Li has to say, shall we? Rex Lapis may be the prime of Adepti, but he is ultimately an Adeptus. Many Adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the inexorable trend. The times have changed. You must have felt it too when you were at Jueun Karst. Die Adepten halten sich tatsächlich von Leo fern. Der Geo Archon, einer der sieben, ist auch ein Adept. Archons go by many names. The God of Contracts, the God of Commerce, the Warrior God, Morax, Rex Lapis. Is the idea that he also has the title of Adeptus so strange? As you have seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly dawning. In years past, Liu's tradition was that a huge memorial service be held to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It is sacrilege. Schließlich ist dies der Fall des Gottesmörders. Yeah, the killer hasn't even been caught yet. Decide or not, the concern of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is this. When the ritual to receive this god is so kingly, it is all the more egregious for his final send-off to go unattended to. Traveler, Child has told me a lot about you. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, 
Could I ask you to help me prepare the Geo Archon's last rites? Ich denke noch einmal drüber nach. Eine Einladung zu akzeptieren, da ist doch nichts dabei. Der Graf redet zu viel. Eine Einladung akzeptieren, da ist doch nichts dabei. A wise decision. The Tianchuan Ningguang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel, which of course you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Precisely. Only by participating in the rite of parting will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. If we are agreed, come with me. We will speak of the details as we walk. All right, my bridge building work here is done. Turned out well, didn't it? You can go if you want to. Don't worry about me. I might just have a few more drinks and get acquainted with these things they call chopsticks in the meantime. <laughs> my chopsticks truly are difficult to use. <laughs> Also sitzen, das ist. Was wird denn mir ganz angezeigt? Wieso leuchten die? die leuchten aber kann ich anfassen. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? Beides okay. Aber mir gefällt Mondstedt ein bisschen besser. <laughs> I see. So you're that sort of person. It's not a bad thing. But I suppose you have yet to experience the substance of Liyue's 3,700 years of divinity. Organizing the rite of parting should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. Liyue is the most prosperous of the Seven Nations, defended by deities and ruled by the Qixing. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. Ningguang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is in all likelihood why Child wants to make use of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's connections. Huh. What would Child get out of us doing the rite of parting anyway? I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. These are the advanced funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! <laughs> Hola. Well then, let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. Dann gehen wir mal hier Nachtjade kaufen. Geh und kauf Nachtjade. Das machen wir doch gern. Welcome to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. Das aber alles it's cheap and it's fun, and who knows, you just might strike it rich. Betting? No, no, we're here for... Um... What was it again? <laughs> Noctilucus Jade, of Radiant Grade at the very least. Radiant Grade, Noctilucus Jade? I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. What do you think? 
The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the ones you usually dig up. <laughs> but how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? Einem Glücksspiel anbietenden Inhaber kann man nicht trauen. Ich möchte erst Jonglis Meinung hören. Oh? You want me to decide? That is fine as well. Ja. Du hast Geokraft, If it were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And that would be... Keiner von denen. I'll take them all, boss. <laughs> Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. Oh, wait, wait, boss. That one didn't count. We need to discuss it again. Hey, if we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the more if we buy them all? That's Pavon ganz recht. Es ist wirklich Verschwendung. Oh, Mora. Hmm. <lacht> It is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. <lacht> huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by Mora. Uh, what? All Mora is currency. But not all currency is Mora. What? <lacht> er redet über Wirtschaft. Er scheint mehr als nur Klängel zu <lacht> Er redet über Wirtschaft. Is this how the rich live? <lacht> well, he knows a lot about big money, but not a lot about big savings. No need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. Evaluating the quality of Noctilucus Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. Only after the item made using Noctilucus Jade has taken shape will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not. If you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, They will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame, or that your heat control was poor. Immer diese Ausreden. Wow! To think it's that easy to get cheated! But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade, and a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, A wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only see the finger. The patterns, the facade, these are all the finger. Noctilucus Jade is a mystical stone used to light up the darkness, and so its brightness is the important thing. It is the moon. Also so muss es scheinen. Schein bright like a diamond. Dr. Lucas Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. Der Herr Zhongli hat wirklich in Ahnung. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the Jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. Priceless, huh? Hyman's just said that we might never be able to use it again. We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? Can we then wenigstens ein paar Proben haben? That would... well... Fine. As you wish, then. How about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. 
All right, take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. These problems are Aren't these too thin? Even paper's thicker. <laughs> no, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. Hier war handwerkliches Können am Werk. <lacht> oh, you flattered me, but I have to be gentle with these rocks. They are my pride and joy. If I'd taken off even a bit more, it it would have killed me. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. The oh! <laughs> oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. Ich erinnere mich an die Dada Pao Schlucht, die Küche von Xiangli. You mean at Wanmin Restaurant? Uh, as long as we do it when she's not in. That would not do. It is a place where people come and go. They would be endangered if the elemental reaction were to get out of control. We cannot take such a risk. Oh, Paimon remembers. We once saw this big pot down at the Data Upa Gorge in the camp of the hilly trolls from the Meaty tribe. It's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions. Now, let's pack those samples up and make a move! Dreimal. It has been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine <laughs> whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. <laughs> it must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. Oh. Hat der Pops gegeben, ne? Uh, ich hab noch einen Schlüssel. Sehr schön. Wie oh, dies work. Sehr schön, sehr schön, sehr schön. Schau, ich hier mal nichts mehr. Ich komm ja schon. are still using it. It's a very great, but we gotta cut the line. Judgment. Boom. Hydro und Feuerbock. We can do it. There's still soup in here. These hilly trolls sure have big appetites. Jetzt ist das unser Versuchslabor. This soup looks like it could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. We're ready to go. Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. 
Use pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is. So, pay close attention. Alles nerven singen. Oh, jetzt ist er ganz linke. Kann ich mitnehmen? Ich will einfach liegen lassen. Komm. Dann lass mich liegen. Ich sag da nichts. Mal einen Stein, Stein, Stein. You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? Hast du gesagt Nummer drei, oder? Exactly. That's the one Paimon remembers too. Gut so. No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Eine ganze Kiste voll. Done. All the same, uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. Parting? Oh, dear. I I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... This means that Rex Lapis really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our Lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Alas, alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Are you sure? You didn't want to even give us an inch before. <laughs> if not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Oh, I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good honest merchants such as yourself, I for one believe that Liu Er will continue to prosper as it always has done. Also, dann lass mal die Köpfe nicht hängen. All right. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. 
Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute! He said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that, too. Let me see. As I thought, I didn't bring any. <laughs> any what? Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my part. Ein interessantes Konzept von Geld ist das. Es gibt also noch Leute in Lue, die nicht nur an Geld denken. Ich nenne es ein interessantes Konzept von Geld ist das. Oh, that won't do. This isn't some small sum. Oh, wait. Didn't Child give us some advanced funds earlier? Hier, ich habe es. That's a relief. Have a look, boss. Is it enough? It's fine. Just enough for half price. <laughs> Though to be honest, it'd be all right even if the sum wasn't quite enough. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Yujing Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. <laughs> das nächste Mal nicht den Mora Beutel vergessen. Da dann geh noch einmal zum Grafen und Bern <laughs> etwas finanzielle Unterstützung. Hmm. It seems that we must. I will keep that in mind. Thanks, both of you. <laughs> Bring the Yachtjade in ihren Platz. Mai doch. Ist oben? Ja, sieht so aus. Dann teleportieren wir mal dahin. Geht's leichter nach oben. Ich komme ja schon. Meine Süße ist immer müde, müde, müde. Hey, Madame Ping, was geht? Heutzutage findet man kaum noch Leute, die sich an Schönheit der Blume freuen. Magst du die Blumen? Ja, und wie? Die Blumen blühen und vergehen immer wieder aufs Neue. Ganz viel Liebe. Sieh nur hier und da. Überall sind neue Blüten aufgegangen. Dieses Jahr wird sicher ein tolles Jahr. Da werden gute Dinge geschehen. Rex Lab ist gestorben. Katastrophe. Oder sie wusste es schon. Sie ist eine Maschine. Von ihr kriegen wir was Schönes später. Brauche ich mir jetzt schon. Oh, nehmen wir alles mit. Alles meins. Das müsste eigentlich reichen. Was machst du da? Ich bete den Herrscher über die Felsen an. Hm, du scheinst nichts von hier zu sein. Wir sind hier um Yiyuan Tempel, wo man den Herrscher über die Felsen und Weihrauch anzündet. Vielen Liyue kommen regelmäßig hier, um für Glück zu beten. Ich wohne aber sehr weit ab und kann nicht oft kommen. Deshalb bleibe ich jedes Mal ein wenig länger. In der Vergangenheit habe ich so viel über den Herrscher über die Felsen gelesen, dass ich ihn wirklich zu schätzen gelernt habe. Wenn man bedenkt, was der Herrscher über die Felsen alles für Leo getan hat, ist das Mindeste, was ich tun kann, wenn ich ein paar Schritte mehr laufe, um den Weihrauch anzuzünden. Ich gehe mal davon aus, dass du nicht allzu viel über den Herrscher über die Felsen weißt. Ich könnte dir das eine oder andere über ihn sagen. Bloße Worte hinterlassen, aber sicher keinen großen Eindruck. Mache es, machen wir es einfach folgendermaßen. Suche in der Nähe des Hafens nach ein paar Dingen. Mit deren Hilfe ich dir von der Tat des Herrschers über die Felsen erzählen werde. Ja, sicher doch. Ja gut, dann werde ich hier auf dich warten. Okay. Nachtjade platzieren.
We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see Child. So, as for the jewelsmith's remuneration... Wenn er fertig ist, bis er wiederkommt, zahle ich ihm erst. Das lassen wir uns alles vom Grafen zurückerstatten. Also, ist das, wo wir das Recht der Party machen? Ja, ich habe bereits diese Location gerettet und habe begonnen, die Recht zu machen. Das ist derselbe Ort wie bei der Adeptenzeremonie. Das ist richtig. Die Liu und Chi-Sing haben akquiesiert, die gleiche Location zu benutzen. When something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although with that said, since we got back from Dwayne Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. Wonder what that's about. Also, the, uh, Rex Lapis vessel... Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. <laughs> Young Lee. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by the chasing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liyue, which is to say the only mint in Tevat. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. <laughs> oh, no! Paimon wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. Die Qixing stellt den Ort der Graf die Finanzen. Was wollen Sie mit dieser Zeremonie erreichen? Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liyue, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I for one have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Oh. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant, and is especially suited for solemn events, like giving offerings to gods and adepti. It's time for Zhang Li's lectures on high society again! <laughs> <laughs> we shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. We <laughs> Wusheng. Du suchst für den Gott, geh und kauf Zeitenblumen. Gleich hier unten. Nehmen. Oh, Kiste. Alter Mädel, warum ist nicht gesprungen? Jetzt geht doch. Dankeschön. Sag ich niemals nein. Ich habe noch ein Reward, glaube ich, gesehen. Oh, 
Oda? Easy. A reward on the road. A reward on the road. Ganz nach unten. Gehen wir doch. Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Which kind? The, uh, the good kind? <laughs> the best kind? Remind Paima what kinds there are again. Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Hey, willst du Umsatz machen oder nicht? Golden Housemaiden, Valley Weaver and Fate's Yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. <laughs> Please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. Nun ist der Tag also doch gekommen. Ist das die späte Rache dafür, dass ich gesagt habe, ein paar Minuten könnte man knabbern? Meinst du nicht, dass ich ein wenig bekannt aussehe? I'm sorry. Ah, yes. We've met before, haven't we? Sorry, traveler. I shouldn't have spoken to you in that tone. Next time, prügel ich die Scheiße, die aus dem Leib verstanden. So wie die Hildschulz. Now then, please peruse at your leisure. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens. Excellently preserved. Just look at the abundant foliage here. And these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens. Though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet enduring scent. It was first discovered by the ancients when they scaled the mountains in search of the Adepti. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liyue's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow! A true connoisseur! <laughs> Most of that was news even to me! Also, Bole? Du gehst mir auf den Sack ab. I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. Naja, ja. Man weiß eben ein bisschen hier und da. Ich weiß eigentlich gar nichts über Seidenblumen. <lacht> Sag mal, naja, man weiß eben ein bisschen hier und da. Oh, Mr. Zhongli, you're way too humble. So, which silk flower did you want anyway? I'll take them all, boss. Fängt er schon wieder so an. Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. But this silk flower purchase is not an analogous case. The same, perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in 3,700 years. As such, I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. 
Now that's settled. A question. <clears throat> Do you have any mora on you? <laughs> you forgot to bring money again? Song <sighs> Lee. Das sind wir doch schon gewohnt. Uh, if I may interject, did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? Yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud. But I've been worried about our dear Lord ever since. I'm worried that everything I've heard is true. Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, they'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for today. <laughs> huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. Thank you, boss. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved our skins. Our skins? You were the one who forgot to bring money! <laughs> Please, it's the least I could do. So, now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world problems. <laughs> Hence, I need you to help by asking around in the city. Try the common folk, especially women. So this time we get to go around town looking for nice smelling ladies to talk to? Paimon likes this job. <laughs> I will wait for you near the Statue of the Seven. Meet me there when the perfume is ready. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Lauren. She's master of the Liyue branch, right? Klapp, 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 mit ihren kleinen Stelzen. Hey, Lauren. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry, you two, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. J do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. <laughs> well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxin flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out. Lon's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Uh, no, they were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Ming. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Thanks, Lon. See you around. Ich komme. Wunderschön. Blöde Aussichtspunkte gegen Kaiyo gestellt. Hello, how may I help? We've come to ask you a question. Kimin, kannst du doch das Herz kochen? Perfume? I rarely think to use it, let alone about how to make it myself. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. 
Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague, because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. <laughs> that's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day! <laughs> While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Mm. Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need! Finally, we're getting somewhere! Auf zum nächsten. Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? How did you know we were coming? <laughs> oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet-smelling lady. Ich habe mit zwei Leuten, äh, mit zwei Leuten geredet. Wie schnell bist du? Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. <laughs> snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Uh -huh. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Wir haben diese drei Arten von Seidenblumen ausgesucht. Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet-smelling <laughs> ammunition. Is that it? Es ist für Rex Laps bestimmt. Is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity, that doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. Sorry, your story just doesn't hold water. Xiong Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring, for come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. That went over Paimon's head a little. <laughs> <laughs> In short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant. But you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. Imo. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? In the Küche von Xiang Li. You mean Wan Mean Restaurant? Good choice. Let's go. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? What did you say? <laughs> I meant make me proud, as my assistant, obviously. While I'm setting up, you can go and fetch some water. This water will do nicely. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. <laughs> Gently <laughs> does it. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Uh -huh. Now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. <laughs> Keine Sorge, ich bin Profi. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. 
They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Wo muss ich hin? Werkbank? Some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. <laughs> it's so rare to see nowadays. Anyway. Shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Paima wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes. The first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? Yes. I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. <laughs> Come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? Emo. Emo. Let's take these three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven. Mr. Zhongli's probably been with. Da war ich zu schnell, jetzt habe ich Paimon gar nicht zugehört. Hey, Zhongli, my friend. We brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhongli. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liyue, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? <laughs> that is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Yes. Three sets, and not one less. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? Rex Lapis scheint dieses wirklich zu mögen. That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form and... 
Let's hope the Chi Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. Die Kikshing und der Graf, was sind ihre wahren Motive? Tja, wir machen das um den Leichnam des Stammesfatz der Adepten zu sehen. Die Kikshing und der Graf, was sind das für wahre Motive? So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why is he gotta be so secretive this time? I apologize, but I won't be able to come with you this time. Once you've acquired the cleansing bell, meet me at Yujing Terrace. Aber diese Aufgabe machen wir nächstes Mal. Jetzt machen wir schnell die Daily Quests. Da hoch. Das nervt mich. Weil von da bin ich fliege ich immer runter in, in Liebe rein. Viel geiler. Ich hab markiert, wo ist denn da? Ich glaube, ich muss gleich da hoch, oder? Da irgendwo da oben. Falsch hin. Ist noch hier. Nope. Krieg mal hin. Kein Stress. Nur noch ein Ziel. Ist ja nicht schwer. Dafür haben wir unsere Ausdauer. Schön klettern, Teleport finden. Aber trotzdem knapp. Da wird es richtig knapp, oder? Ne, da kann man schon stehen, glaube ich. Yep. Perfekt. Da kann man auch stehen. Perfekt. Easy. Noch höher. Alter, Alter. Das ist Liu für dich. Liu, das Land der Berge. Ei, 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 geschafft. Beautiful. Ey, Kumpel. Komm, wach auf. Ich geh schon immer mit. Ja. 
Jetzt kommt es von hier viel leichter nach Liwe. Ich muss nicht immer von unten da hochklettern, das hat immer so genervt. Hast du etwas gefunden? Was könnte Kollaps natürlich? Haha, das ist Erz. Du scheinst den Begriff der Geokraft sehr wörtlich zu nehmen. Für die ersten Siedler hier in Liwe hatte das Erz neben der Verhütung noch eine ganz andere, sehr wichtige Funktion. Als die ersten Siedler hier angekommen waren und anfingen das Land zu erschließen, haben sie Steinöfen aufgeschichtet und mit Hilfe von Funken ein ordentliches Feuer gemacht. Mit diesem Feuer konnten sie Essen zubereiten, was sie stark genug machte, um schwere Arbeiten zu unternehmen. All das kommt von der Erde, also direkt vom Herrscher über das Felsen persönlich. In einigen alten Aufzeichnungen wird der Herrscher über die Felsen auch als Gott des Herdes bezeichnet. Sobald ein neues Restaurant aufmacht, bietet der Inhaber dafür, dass der Herdfeuer niemals erlischt und die Geschäfte gut laufen. Vergiss nicht, auch an den Herrscher über die Felsen zu denken, wenn du an einem Restaurant in Liebe speist. So viel zu dieser Geschichte. Beim nächsten Mal werde ich dir mehr erzählen. Hast du gut gemacht. Was ist denn das alles, was ich bekommen habe? Legenden. Achso. Was. Der nächste ist hier. Gut. Haben wir einen Teleport in der Nähe? Sehr schön. Ich komme ja schon, ich komme ja schon. Und da habe ich wahrscheinlich schon was mitgebracht, äh, mitgenommen. Von solchen Orten sind meistens Kisten eigentlich. Ich hier auch mit kommen wir schon oh. Easy. 
so leicht in die Dings. Macht mich glücklich. Uh, 28, sehr schön. Oh, was ist denn das? In der Kanne zu Hause. Aktionszeitraum dauerhaft. Die Krise im Hafen von Liebe hat sich beruhigt und in der Stadt geht alles seinen gewohnten Gang. Doch Madame Ping, wie auf der yuan terrasse Blumen bewahrt, schließt den Auftrag ab, um die Kanne der Vergänglichkeit freizuschalten. Schließt ein aufsteigender Stern ab, um diesen Auftrag annehmen zu können. Kriegen wir alles hin. Das habe ich gemeint, dass wir bei den Madame Ping bekommen. Die Kanne. Ah, perfekt. Ich dachte schon. Nichts mehr in der Nähe. Aber doch. Deswegen immer die hohen Sachen nehmen. Das sind die wichtigsten. Immer von oben nach unten fliegen. Klettern ist immer das Schwierigste. Das Schwierigste. Und dauert lang. Ich immer erst die hohen Punkte der Teleporter zu holen. Das ist immer das Wichtigste. Da kommst du überall locker hin. Ui. Den markieren wir doch. Den markieren wir. Ich habe glaube ich noch keinen einzigen liebe Schlüssel. Nope. Großen Mauer später. Oh. Eine Quest. Ich komme ja schon. Easy geht es so, so easy. Oh, warte mal. Ja, nehmen wir mit, wenn ich schon hier in der Nähe bin. Mein Schulkamerad und ich haben von Kindheit an die Kampfkünste geübt. Wir wollen die Mächte des Bösen bekämpfen und alle schützen, was in dieser Welt heilig ist. Aber dies war keine leichte Aufgabe ohne ein göttliches Auge. Wir zwei haben hier Unterschlupf gesucht, um uns weiterzubilden und das göttliche Auge zu suchen das wir begehrten. Wir richteten die St Stelle als Zeichen unserer Bemühungen. Wir rühren die Stelle. Was passiert? Irgendwas ist passiert. Aber ich weiß nicht was. Vielleicht nächstes Mal. Wunderschön. Neuer Teleport. Das auch. Gehen wir nach Liue. Ad Astra. Thank you for coming. Ad Astra. Oh, 75. Sehr schön.
307 ist oh. Nicht gerade viel. Naja. Langsam aber sicher kriegen wir unsere. Ich hoffe, wir schaffen noch zweimal. Weil ich glaube, dann haben wir 90. Oder waren es ein sogar? Naja, werden wir dann sehen. Wenn wir die nächsten 10 Ziehungen schaffen. Aber Leute, danke fürs Zuschauen. Das war RR Production, hier war Robby. Und wir haben zusammen mit Genshin Impact gespielt. Das war, glaube ich, Part 23. Danke fürs Zuschauen, kommentiert, subscribed. Wir sehen uns nächstes Mal. Ciao, ciao. Oh. Herausforderung. Nehmen wir gleich mit. Ach, diesmal. Ciao, ciao.